Hey guys, so today I'm going to be unboxing my very first Calico Critters and I just have to say off the start that when I was recording this my microphone was turned off so everything I recorded was not captured for the first portion of the video so I'm recording this separately so things I say might not match up with the hand movements and that kind of stuff but I'll try my best to remember what I said. So let's take a look at the two sets I'm opening in this video. The first one we have is Connor and Carrie's Carriage Ride, and it includes the mama rabbit, the two babies, a little carriage, and a little rattle. And based on what it says on the bottom of the box, the babies are Connor and Carrie, so Carrie would be the girl, Connor would be the boy. And the mother's name is Shannon, and they're part of the Snow Warren family. Then for this second set, we have the Tuxedo Cat Triplets. So these are the three babies. So it says it's boy, girl, and girl according to the bottom of the box. So the boy is Midnight. Midnight can sleep for hours when he's awake. He loves playing games with his sisters. Peppermint is very sweet and likes making new friends everywhere she goes. Angelica is very curious and likes to ask her mother questions about anything and everything. On the back here it shows all kinds of critters and houses you can get and just a hint one of those houses I actually purchased and you'll see it in an upcoming video. So let's start with the triplets. We'll take them out of the box and take a look at them. They're in a really cute background like maybe a little playroom or something and one of them sitting on a chair. Kiki! Are you pretending to be one of the cats? All right, here are the little babies, and it looks like it also comes with a little flyer. And inside, it shows you a bunch of different accessories and families you can get, and it just really makes me want everything, because there's a lot of things in there that I didn't realize were even available, and so there was already a lot of stuff I wanted, and now I see even more that I want, so I'm going to be doing a lot of these Calico Critter unboxings. All right, let's take a look at the three little babies. So we'll start with this one here with the yellow outfit. These are covered with flocking powder so they're nice and soft. And this one is white with some black detailing on the ears. And she's very fuzzy. These are just the cutest little things I've ever seen. They're so tiny. And then here's the other little girl kitty. She also has a black ear just on the opposite ear. Then here's little Midnight little black kitty. I think I like the black one the best because he's just too cute and I really like black cats. So those are the three triplets. One thing I wish they did differently is on the back of their outfits it's open. There's a huge area where their backs are exposed and the material that are that's used for these ones isn't really the best. I feel like the tuxedo cat family is not as nice as some of the other families and I knew that when I purchased it, but um, I still didn't know that the backs were open like that, so it'd be kind of nice if they added some extra fabric to cover that up. But they do have soft little outfits with little lace detailing around the top. At this point when I was recording, I didn't realize that their arms and legs could move. I thought they were just stuck the way they were. I thought only the older toys, like the older kids and the adults, had movable joints because I knew that the bunnies couldn't move so I thought these ones couldn't move either but actually they did have movable joints which I'll show you later in the video. So I think that's all I have to say about these three little tuxedo cat triplets and now we'll move on to the carriage ride set. I was really excited about this one because of all the colors. It's got baby pink, baby blue, and white and I love that color combination and the carriage is just too cute so as soon as I saw this set I knew I had to get it because it was too adorable. All right, now let's open it up. Okay guys, it's now gonna cut back to the audio recording I did at the time I opened it. And I know my current microphone is not that great that I use for recording the toy videos, but I do have a new microphone coming. It's a fancy lav mic that clips to your shirt. So audio quality will improve in future videos and hopefully that comes really soon. Anyway, in the meantime, deal with the echoey audio. So first let's take a look at the mama rabbit. She's so cute. She's wearing a pink plaid dress and she has an apron on with some lace at the bottom and then she has a bow in the back made out of ribbon. The mom's head can move. It's a bit stiff and doesn't move very far, but the arms and legs have better movement. They can rotate, so that's pretty cool. She can sit or she can stand. The babies can't move. <laughs> They don't have any joints, so the way they are posed is the way they have to be. Their heads don't even turn, so they just have to stay as they are. So
So we have this one, which is a little boy. Got a little blue diaper on with some lace at the top. And I love the little pose, it's crawling, <laughs> too cute. And then for the girl bunny, she's got a little dress on, it looks like. Uh, it looks like a halter top type of outfit. And there's lace around her waist. And these ones actually have fabric all the way around, <laughs> which is nice. It is a little bit messy right here. The glue job and where the seams line up is not the best, but this side worked out really well. So yeah, she's so adorable. And then for the carriage, it came with this push down and then I noticed that you can lift this up and there's a seat for each baby. They have their own backrests. And so this is a little plushy material with lace around it. This part of the carriage can go down, but it just pops back up because it is stiff fabric. And it's got the cute polka dot pattern, cute little flowers. Pretty much I'm using the word cute to describe everything in this video because it's all adorable. <laughs> And then this part almost has a bit of a wood texture to it and the wheels turn. That is amazing. Oh, and it came with a blanket. So just a little piece of fabric with kind of lace. It's like a very simplistic lace trim at the top. I don't know if you can see that or not. So let's try putting the babies inside. I feel like she should squish in the back since she's actually in a sitting pose. And this guy can chill out in the front. Oh, how cute is that? <gasps> and then the mama can put out her arms. Her arms are actually wider than the handles. Oh, baby overboard. There we go. Now mama can push the babies. And the little blankie. I'm not sure we have a ton of room in here for the blankie right now. I'm just gonna stuff it back here. <laughs> Don't really need the blanket. So far, I'm loving these calico critters. They're too cute. Ah, I do have a problem with some of these babies though. They don't all wanna stay up. The black one can stand easily. Oh, hey, this one does have movable legs. Oh, it's just these ones that don't. So the standing guys can. Can this one stand up? Oh, yes, they can. Oh, I thought, <laughs> I tried moving them before and I thought they couldn't do that. Okay, so these guys can stand up. I was worried because this one was falling over when it was sitting and this one was falling over when it was standing and I was trying to fix the legs and I couldn't get them to move, but I guess maybe they're just a bit stiff. So, yay, that makes me more happy now. <laughs> I can pose them how I want. Their arms do move too. So these guys can move. These bunnies do not. Let's double check. No. No, you can tell there's no seams there. So those ones, they just sit there as they are. Let's actually put them over here. Balance this out a little bit. And the mama and the cats, they can move. Can their heads? Mm, I don't think so, unless again, they're just stiff, but I don't wanna force it. Ooh, this one has a teeny bit of movement. Not really, but I could feel it moving, but you can't really see it. So here we go. Here are my first calico critters. We have one mama and a lot of little babies, and a super cute carriage. You guys, I was putting everything away and I realized I forgot about the little rattle. So this was just sitting in the box all by itself. So to me, it looks like a little wolf. At least that's the impression I get from it. I don't know why a rabbit would have a rattle of a wolf if a wolf is gonna eat them, but maybe just because they're friends with wolves in this, you know, it's calico critters. All the critters are friends with each other, so. Maybe that's why <laughs> it's wearing a little yellow shirt and yeah, just a little plastic rattle for the babies. Let's see if it fits on their hands. Mm, oh, it fits sideways. <laughs> it depends on how they're holding their hands, I guess. Let's try it with the kitties. There we go. Isn't that so cute? Aww. I do have some stuff purchased that I'll be opening in future videos, so if you want to see more Calico Critter videos and other toy unboxings, then be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.